Open and Close Circuit, Science 5, Quarter 3, Week 4. Our most essential learning competency, infer the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. In the previous lesson, you have learned how light interacts with different materials. You also learned that optics is the study of refraction, which refers to the bending of light as it passes through different materials. Reflection, which refers to the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. Absorption, that refers to a material's taking in of light and not reflecting it back and transmission that refers to the passing of light through some materials. This time, you will learn the condition necessary to make a bulb light up. Look around you, or look around your house. How many appliances do you see? How many are currently plugged into your wall outlets? Most households have several devices that make use of electricity. The number of appliances that you have at home shows how important electricity is in our everyday lives. How does electricity flow to your appliances? Two conditions must be met in order for electricity to flow. First, there's, there must be a source of electricity. Then second, there must be a complete path for the electricity to flow through. Look at the illustrations carefully. The picture shows an electrical circuit which has four parts. A source, light bulb, wires, and switch. Now let us study this illustration. In setup A, there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. For this reason, electricity does not flow. Well, in setup B, a wire is attached to the negative end of the battery while the other wire is attached to the positive end. Both wires are attached to the bulb. Such a circuit is called a closed circuit. A closed circuit makes the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete, allowing electricity to flow through it. The switches that you see at home are electrical components that can make the circuits of the lights in your homes open or closed. So to turn on lights, you have to close the circuit by pushing the switch on. To turn off the lights, you have to open the circuit again by pushing the switch off. For our first learning task, the title is Construct Your Own Circuit. The, activity that, the activities that you are going to perform will clearly explain the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. Um, prepare the following materials. If not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parents, guardians, or any adult member of the family if needed. These are the materials needed. One 1.5 volt or AA battery or any battery available at home, small bulb, and copper wire. Procedures. Connect the materials as shown in the diagram above and observe what happens. Second, remove the switch connection or, and observe what happens. Note, handle the materials with care, especially the bulb. Let us watch this video about that activity.
veins I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Now, let us answer some questions about the activity. In your setup, the switch and the wires connect the light bulb to the battery. Question number one, what happened to the bulb after you connect the switch to the wire? Why? Next question, what happened to the bulb after you detach the switch from the wire? Why? And these are the correct answers. For number one, the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete, allowing electricity to flow through it. The wire is attached to the negative end of the battery, while the other wire, wire is attached to the positive end. Number two, there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. That's why electricity does not flow. For learning task number two, Label the parts of the electric circuit. Number one, number two, number three, and number four. These are the correct answers. For number one, light bulb, two switch, three wire, and four battery. For learning task number three, Label the following circuit with open circuit or closed circuit. Picture number one, picture number two, picture number three, picture number four, and picture number five. For number one, closed circuit, two open circuit, three closed circuit, four closed circuit, and five open circuit. Learning task number four, draw an example of open and closed circuit. Consider the rubric below in doing the task. Five points, the drawing represents a clear understanding of the concept. Four points, the drawing represents a somewhat clear understanding of the concept. Three points, the drawing represents a quite clear understanding of the concept. Two points, the drawing does not represent the concept learned. And one point, the drawing lacks detail. Put your drawing in this template. And this is an example of a drawing with that activity. And for learning task number five, Write a brief essay with at least five sentences on why it is important to switch, off, to switch off appliances when not in use. Consider the rubric below in doing the task. Five points. The main idea stands out and is supported by detailed information. Four points. The main idea is clear but the supporting information is general. Three points. The main idea is somewhat, somewhat clear but limited supporting details. Two points, the main idea is not clear and limited supporting details. And one point, the main idea is not clear and has no, has no supporting details. Sample answer to that activity. It's important to switch off electrical appliances when they're not being used. They are are there mechanical devices that could fail and cause major fires if nobody notices them? Unplugging appliances also has the potential to save you to save you money on expenses. Moreover, 
This practice can also increase the life of your belongings. The more items you have plugged in around the house, the more susceptible your devices are to damage through an unexpected power surge. Remember, open circuit, there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. While closed circuit, it makes the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete. But both open circuit and closed circuit are route in which an electrical current can flow around. For learning task number five, read each item carefully and choose the letter of your answer. Number one, it is the source of electrical energy, A battery, B switch, C wire, D bulb. Number two, it is a circuit where electricity can flow or cannot flow. Letter E, open circuit, B, closed circuit, C, battery, or D, switch. For number three, it connects the light bulb to the battery. A, wire, B, source, C, open circuit, D, bulb. And for number four, it is used to open and close the circuit. Letter E, switch, B, source, C, circuit, or D, bulb. And number five, it is complete. It is a complete path of electricity. Letter E, closed circuit, B switch, C circuit, or D open circuit. And these are the correct answers. For number 1, letter A, battery. Number 2, letter E, open circuit. 3, letter E, wire. 4, letter E, switch. And 5, letter E, closed circuit. And that ends our lesson for week four of, of our science class. I hope you learned a lot from our lesson for today. Thanks for listening and happy learning. Bye-bye.